Good morning. Welcome to WTOL 11 Your Day. I'm Amanda Fay. And I'm Diane Phillips. Happy Wednesday. Working uh, our way through the week. Yes, yeah, we did have to question a little bit what Wednesday, day it was. Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah, yes. Yeah, this week is kind of like the other week that was taking a while. It's going a little slow. I think it's the cloud cover. I though. think it is Maybe too. You know, sun. we did have some sun yesterday, which was really great, but it looks like the clouds have moved back in this morning. Yes, yeah, sadly. I was really hoping that we'd get at least a little more sun this morning. Yeah. And some folks did because they had a little bit cooler weather, some some patchy frost. Oh, sure. Did you have any frost or not that I'm aware of. I don't think so. We were in the garage, so there wasn't anything in the car, but I didn't notice anything on the grass or anything like that. Okay, that's yeah. good. I know it was a little patchy, so some mm -hmm. saw it, some didn't. Uh, I had a little frost this morning for me. Oh, scraper so, season. <laughs> yes, it is scraper season, and uh, thankfully, though, we're not talking about uh, using it for other things besides frost. I'm brushing certain things off or anything like that, yeah. Yeah, don't. Yeah, not yet. Oh. Oh, I'm having bad flashbacks. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. No, I'm not ready for it either. You know, we did get in some park time, though, last night. Mm -hmm. And my daughter was like, Mom, can we go to the park? And I was like, oh, I'm going to be cold, but sure. So we took the opportunity because, you know, it was a dry day. There was some sun. And I was like, I don't know when we're going to get this again. So we got in about 45 minutes. Oh, that's nice. I was cold. And was there some good fall color there at the park? There was, yeah. Good, mm -hmm. good. I've noticed that the cooler temperature is allowing a little more fall color. Finally. And uh, thankfully, it's not so uh, scary outside with the fall color, mm -hmm. but at least this uh, Sunday forecast for trick-or-treating, I don't think this is going to be too frightful. If anything, it's going to be spooktacular, in my opinion, because our temperatures are going to be in the 50s throughout that trick-or-treat time frame. Uh, and also, dry weather for once we don't have rainfall that will be pushing in. So that is good news for us that we have mild temperatures and dry weather. But we have to wait for time to pass and rain to pass before we can have that great of a forecast because the center of the storm, though it's actually not going to be moving right overhead, it's going to be just south of us. And yet that's going to line up some of the heavier rain just into our neighborhood. So that means all day Friday going to be looking at scattered and soaking showers. But the center of the storm does pass on by fairly quickly. So Saturday morning, though we may have a few lingering showers, I think a lot of the rain will start to wrap up as the weekend gets underway. Now it is harvest season as we're talking about all the fall festivities, but I know the fields are a little saturated to say the least. So with about an inch expected, make sure those farmers use the dry weather that's hopefully to come because we could see some locations that'll get a little more than an inch while others could get a little bit less. But still, we're planning about an inch inch of rainfall from Thursday night into Saturday morning. Temperatures a little bit warmer towards our east. The clouds being a little bit more of a blanket to hold on to those mid 40s, but yet the clouds are pushing in and it's still 33 in Bryan this morning. So some frost possible there into our western counties. Highs this afternoon will be in the mid 50s, a little warmer than yesterday, but it'll also be a little more cloudy than what we had on our Tuesday. And overnight we're going to drop those temperatures into the mid 40s. The clouds going to be a blanket though for everybody. So we're looking forward to a little more of a seasonal start to the day, but here comes that rainfall in your forecast. Temperatures during this time going to be in the 50s and 60s, but once a great Halloween comes and passes, we're going to have some scary temperatures. Highs will be in the upper 40s with hopefully, though, some more dry weather coming our way. Amanda?